Hey guys, Ray Carnes, Rec Tech Grills. Check it out. We're going to be doing some Asian pork burgers today. Wanted to do something a little bit different, but we're going to do a side, real easy side. Uh, it's going to be some potatoes. We just took some uh, new potatoes, left the skins on, sliced them up. You're going to put those in a casserole dish, like so. One large onion, or more if you like. Sliced up, one handful of chopped parsley, uh, four tablespoons or five or six tablespoons of butter, a four, little, five or six. whatever you want. Go with it. A little bit of uh, chicken broth, about a quarter cup I'd say, or half a cup. We're gonna cover that with foil. It's gonna go 45 minutes to an hour at 400 degrees on the Rectech. And uh, then we're gonna prep up these Asian burgers. We'll see you at the Rectech. Okay, so let's start making these Asian pork burgers. All right, so we got two and a half pounds of ground pork that our butcher did up for us. It's beautiful. We're gonna put it in this mixing bowl here. And this is a lot of ingredients. And you kinda wanna fold this lightly together. These ingredients, you don't wanna get in there and really uh, mash it together. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a quarter cup of uh, this peanut, is it Thai? Thai peanut sauce. Thai peanut sauce. About a quarter cup of Thai peanut peanut? sauce. Peanut? Peanut. Everybody picks the way I say peanut. <laughs> About a quarter cup of that. We're going to put this, uh, this is, what is that again? Ginger dressing. Ginger dressing. It's a, this is actually a fresh scallion ginger dressing. Uh, how much of the chopped scallions are we going to put? A cup? Just put enough in there to give it color. Not a cup. About a half a cup then. That's about good. half That's a cup good. of chopped scallions. We're going to put half a teaspoon of the sesame seed oil. Um, you don't want to go heavy on that. That's real powerful stuff. Please. Toasted sesame seed oil. About half a teaspoon. We're going to put about a half a teaspoon of soy in there. Go with the soy. That's good. Half a teaspoon of soy. We're going to put one tablespoon. I mean, half a tablespoon of soy. We're going to put one tablespoon of an Asian hot sauce. You could use sriracha. This is a, a chili. Chili garlic sauce. Chili garlic sauce. So we got a little garlic in that chili sauce. That's why we didn't add any garlic. So if you were using just a sriracha, you could add a little garlic. And two, uh -huh. <laughs> two tablespoons, trust me now, it sounds a little wacky. Two tablespoons of chuck, chunky uh, peanut butter. We just got some regular old Peter Pan peanut butter. Fold these ingredients together. We're going to make some patties, and we're letting those potatoes cook. After those get off and those are resting, we're going to crank the grill up to uh, full. We're going to crank the rec tech up to full, and then we're going to see you at the rec tech. We'll see you there in a minute. All right, guys, we're going to do these Asian burgers. We're going to use the sear kit upside down. We're just going to do two. Save the rest for tonight. I can't wait to try these. Get a close up of that. So the aioli for these Asian burgers, half a cup of mayo, three ingredients, real easy. And we're gonna put, what do you think about, one tablespoon of wasabi sauce? One table, one, one and a half. One and a, Depending one on and how and spicy half. you want it. That's up to you, Pre personal preference. We're gonna put about one and a half tablespoons of uh, wasabi sauce, and then we're gonna put juice from about half a lime and mix that together, that's gonna be our aioli. All right, so these been four minutes. We're gonna flip them. Go ahead and put those buns in the back there, Stevie. We're gonna toast our buns also. These are gonna go quick, the buns. Man, that sear kit gives it a great, sear across the whole burger about another about another four minutes the buns are only going to take about a minute i'm gonna pull them in just a second yeah just a second put a quick toast on them so we see see those in a minute all right so check this the potatoes went 50 minutes at 400 degrees this is for the asian pork sandwiches we're going to pull the foil off now hit that with some cheddar cheese just let it go about another five or ten minutes let the cheese melt and then uh we'll serve these guys up we'll see you inside it when we're plating them up all right, I temp these to 160. Man, those look good. They look yummy. Oh my they took, just to give you a cook time, they took a total of about eight and a half minutes. We're gonna go inside. 
We got a nice arugula salad. We're gonna put it on top of that, that aioli, and then we're gonna get those potatoes. <laughs> all right, guys, we had a little mishap. That's why half my sandwich and almost all of Stevie's sandwich is missing. <laughs> That's how good it is. This thing is crazy, crazy good. Uh, Frankie thought he was recording and he wasn't. Look, the arugula salad on top was just arugula, cherry tomatoes, and a little ginger dressing. Put that on top. This thing is off the hook. I'm telling you, it's amazing. I'll let you look at it. The Asian flavor comes through, just a hint of that peanut butter, but it's not overpowering. It's something that really complements this pork, and then you get a little bit of heat. If anything, it maybe we were talking, I almost think you could go a little more on the peanut, peanut sauce. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little more if you wanted, so if you want to experiment with that, but I tell you what, this is one of the best things I've ever cooked. It's in my, in my new top five. Check out rectechgrills.com. I'm telling you, you won't be sorry. Hey, man, let's do this again. Thanks for grilling me today. Get you a Sapporo and cook one of these things, man. Get one of these grills. It's fun. He had stuff all over his face. Take care, guys.